In today's video, I'm going to show you one of the best passing concepts in Madden 23. Now, I do believe this is going to be one of the better passing concepts in Madden 24. I also think that this formation, you're going to see a massive comeback in Madden 24 as well. Now, we're talking about the gun bunch offset formation. This has been one of the best uh, formations over the last several years. Uh, this year kind of took a back seat to compression uh, two by two tight. But in a lot of ways, I do think you're going to see this formation come back to the surface and specifically that one of these setups that we're going to show you in this video now as i we're in the cincinnati Bengals offensive playbook and the play that we're going to be talking about today is the play speed dig now i think this is a very unique play you can also really create this out of any gun bunch formation because pretty much every uh, gun bunch formation has the play verticals and all you really need is this crossing route you don't need any other route apprentices or abilities to be able to run this play but we're going to show it to you out of the play speed dig and i'm going to explain why when we get on the field so if you take a look at this play speed dig you're going to notice that the crosser is um fairly shallow it's not like it, it's not like a slot apprentice so like you'll see here this is a slot apprentice crosser you see how deep that crosser is if you go back to the play speed dig it's a little bit uh more shallow in terms of how the route's going to run now if i was to go to the play verticals you'll notice the same concept can be true but it's a little bit of a deeper crossing route now, if you do want to get better at Madden, I would encourage you to check out our Patreon. We've got a full Cincinnati Bengals offensive ebook in the Patreon. I do believe this is going to be the best offense in Madden 24. So you can sign up for that if you want to. It's only 10 bucks, and it will teach you everything that I know about uh, Madden, as well as all of our ebooks and schemes and all that stuff. But the way that we're going to run this play is we are going to block our running back. We are going to drag route our tight end and we're going to streak this outside receiver. Now with this dig route, you kind of have a couple of options. What uh, a lot of people like to do this year is they're going to put him on a slant and they're going to motion him out and snap just before he sets his feet. And what it will do is it will create really good spacing across the field, and you're gonna be able to attack both man coverage, zone coverage, you'll also be able to attack uh, match coverage as well. As you saw right there, the crosser is able to beat man. Now, another thing you could do if you want a little bit better of a man beating principle, go ahead and put that tight end on an in route, and a lot of times that can activate his short in elite. And as you can see, it's able to pretty much always going to beat main coverage. The drag route, sometimes I've noticed, and again, I think this has to do with the abilities in this game, um, but the drag route doesn't always register as a light up, but the in route, you'll typically get a little bit of a light up animation, especially if you have short and elite on that player. So that's kind of up to you, but basically just some type of shallow crossing route. And if you think about it, what this does against zone, or, uh, against zone is it spaces the field and creates a natural high low. Also your slant route will beat man on that cut, just as you saw right there. So they're gonna have to make a lot of different adjustments to be able to defend this play in man coverage. Some of the adjustments they're gonna have to make is they're gonna have to do something like this, like a cloud flat. They're gonna have to have a hard flat for that tight end route. And then they're gonna have to use her this, um, this um, like shallow slant route themselves. And what this can also do, especially if you have a hot route master, you could put this guy on a skinny post if you wanted to, but really a, a streak is fine or a C route even. Uh, but what you'll also see is you can throw this crosser before he gets to the cloud flat against man-to-man -man coverage just like that. Now, if your opponent decides they wanna run some zone coverage, this play is really good against zone for a lot of different reasons. But if we just look at the basic mechanics of how this play is going to work, we have a clear out route on the left, we have a shallow cross, and then we have this intermediate dig. So what this is going to mean for the defense is they're going to have to have zones that are going to defend the flat, the intermediate area of the field, and the deep area of the field. So this is traditionally known as a Mabel coverage. And so the way that this is practically gonna look, it's gonna look something like this right here, where we have an underneath flat defender, we have a high flat defender, intermediate defender, and then we have a deep defender in Darrell Rivas over the top there. And then um, this is gonna limit their ability to be able to send pressure at you consistently. And then the other thing is, you have to think about all the routes that we could run on the back side of this as well. One of the cool parts as well to just the way bunch is structured is this crossing route you can throw this in the middle of the field before it gets to the flat so what that means is they're going to have to with their user defender they're going to have 
have to carry um, this crossing route. So the, imagine this being the user defender, and I'm going to try to carry the crossing route with this guy. Uh, so then what's going to happen is if the user goes to the crosser, this motion slant is going to get underneath the zones, and you're able to throw it quick just like that right there. And then match coverage is kind of the last coverage that we want to be able to be uh, fundamentally sound against. And this play does a really good job against match coverage because in general, crossing routes tend to do a really good job at consistently beating match coverage every single year. As you see right here, the flat route um, or the drag route is going to kind of serve as a flat route functionally in this, in this route combo. So now what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to have a hard flat defender to take away that drag route. The match quarter uh, or the match um, flat is not going to def get the job done. Then your crosser, as you see here, and this has been true of Madden for years, those crossers really out leverage match coverage. And so you're able to basically essentially run the play like it's a man beater um, in terms of how this is practically going to play out. And then your last read is really, like I said, this, um, this uh, slant on the backside. You see there, it actually defends it pretty well. But who was able to defend it? Well, it was the uh, three rack hook defender. So typically what's going to happen is this guy is going to be carrying that crosser because that crosser consistently beats match coverage. And then they're now going to have to be back in that same kind of pickle where they're not able to have anyone on the backside to defend this drag or this, this motion slant. This is one of the best plays in Madden every single year. You can do it from the play verticals with pretty much the exact same setup. You're just going to use a little bit of a deeper crossing route. And you'll see, by and large, the concept is still going to stand the test of time. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire ebook on the Bengals playbook, join the Patreon today for just $10. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.